The sun's outer corona burns at a scorching one million degrees, releasing a barrage of charged particles that travel at around 400 kilometers per second. The solar wind. This onslaught would strip away our atmosphere, but for the powerful force that protects us, the Earth's magnetic field. Solar wind is this stream of charged particles that comes streaming out from the sun. And at Earth, which has a powerful magnetic field, when those charged particles begin to get close to Earth, they get diverted around Earth by interactions with that magnetic field. That protection keeps solar wind and other ionizing radiation off of the surface. So on Earth, where we have this really great magnetic field, we are nice, safe, and sound inside the shell of that, protected from all that radiation. The magnetic field of Earth effectively forms a protective bubble around the Earth's atmosphere. And when the sun dips below the horizon, there are times when Earth's protective force field is visible. The aurora is a stunning display of Earth's magnetic field in action. It's best seen at the poles, but across Earth, it's protecting our atmosphere and all life on our planet. This vital protective shield is generated deep within. The way a magnetic field is generated inside a planet is when you have convective motion in a fluid that is capable of conducting electricity. And in the Earth, that electrically conducting fluid is liquid iron. And the molten portion of the Earth's core is a place where these motions take place and it can set up a magnetic field. Just like Earth, Mars once had a molten metallic core, generating a magnetic field around the planet. Auroras danced above Mars's poles, protecting its atmosphere and seas below. But the field didn't last. In the oldest rocks on Mars, you see evidence of a once powerful magnetic field. You get to the younger rocks, the rocks that are 3 billion, 2 billion, 1 billion years old, no evidence of a magnetic field whatsoever. And there is no intrinsic magnetic field on Mars today. Half a billion years after it formed, Mars's magnetic field dies out. The bright auroras above its poles slowly fade away as the shield that protects the planet shuts down for good. Once it stops, then what happens is all the atmospheric components, things like hydrogen and oxygen that make up water, they get stripped away because you don't have the shield, the magnetic shield anymore, so the high energy particles that come in from the sun and from outer space, they begin to strip away the components that make up water. Without its magnetic field to protect it, Mars's atmosphere and then water slip away into space. So why did Mars lose its protective shield? What happened deep beneath its surface that stopped Mars from developing like Earth? The answer lies at the beginning of Mars's story, at its very creation.
4.6 billion years ago, when the planets were forming from the dust cloud circling the sun, early differences between Mars and Earth set the young planets on very different paths. Mars forms further from the sun, where crucially, there is less rocky material to build a planet. Mars is different because it's not just further out, it's actually much smaller. If a planet gets to be too small, it just freezes all the way through. Mars is just half the diameter of Earth, meaning its core cooled more quickly. And so it lost the heat that powered the dynamo that generated its protective shield. Mars's small size condemning the planet to die. <laughs> 